I'm Stephanie, an artist living in France and in today's video we are going to keep it a bit low-key with just a sped up process of me drawing and painting rainbow corals and talking about framing because that's where my mind decided to go today. So I made this small ink and watercolor painting two weeks ago for a relative's birthday so it's less thought-rich than my usual work. I just kept my style and added lots of colors on a relatively normal looking coral leaf. So in a way it's nothing special, it took me a few hours to make and it's very user-friendly I would say, pretty accessible. I don't often gift my work to family to be honest, because frankly I don't want them to give them art they might not actually like. So I usually only do so when they actually and very expressively say they want something from me. In the past I have offered my work as gift, but then I stopped because family tends to be supportive no matter what, but then they might not really enjoy what you do, like they don't know what to do with it and the artwork ends up in a drawer or something. And there's really nothing worse than unloved art that ends up in a cardboard box. That's just sad. I also sent this painting to that relative with a frame and a passepartout which I had at home. So I was sure that the gift was ready to hang, making the gift really easy to set up. Giving an unframed painting as a gift is another way of risking your artwork to just stay tucked into the back of a drawer forever. The framing issue is actually one when you sell your artwork as well. I personally tend to sell my work unframed on my website, but that's simply because glass is a pain to ship. On the other side, collectors like to receive an artwork that is ready to be showcased and not having to go through a framer is a huge bonus. So you can really see and find both types of approaches online. Some artists will sell their work framed and some unframed. When I use frames, I tend to pick glass and nowadays even UV treated and no reflection glass, which comes at a cost of course. But if you are going to frame artwork, you might as well do it right. More recently, I've also seen people gluing their watercolor paintings onto wooden boards. Usually they use acrylic gel, but you could reasonably use acid-free white glue as well to fix it. Acid-free is really crucial when doing art, by the way. Acid can ruin pigments over a relatively short period of time, so you really don't want that. And once the watercolor paint is fixed on the board, you just want to spray varnish it for protection. So yeah, that's, that's always an option. The issue I have with that is mostly environmental, as you are taking artwork that is plastic free and protecting it with quite a lot of plastic. But I mean, who am I kidding? Art has stopped being plastic free a long time ago. And it's a very time resistant material and art usually is made to last for a few lifetimes. All that to say that I'm actually considering trying this technique out for a huge A0 ink and colored pencil drawing that is only waiting for me to be finished. I actually started to record that one, so hopefully I'll manage to make it happen and then I can edit a video for you. And furthermore, adding that A0 on a wooden board would also help me to move the drawing aside easily when not working on it. Of course I'm pretty sure I would not be able to sell it overseas because of its size, so I probably have to keep it to myself. My mom was really interested in it, so maybe that's an option to just give it to her. I'm not sure, we'll see how it goes when or more precisely if I ever finish that one.
On another note, I have been in what I call a post-confinement depression for a while now, just lacking motivation and working a lot more sluggishly than what I used to. So depression is a bit over the top as a word, of course, but just generally I'm feeling a bit out of it. Work keeps building up and while I have never stopped working, I'm just so slow and unmotivated these days. I found confinement oddly comforting and cozy, being tucked at home with my boyfriend all the time. It also helped me with work that he would work from home. We really had a good daily schedule going on with morning exercises, then work, lunch, more work and dinner, and it gave me a good easy frame to rely on. Now that I am back to being all by myself, I really miss that discipline that came from outside. It's weird in a way, as I've been working on my own for more than a decade, and discipline is not something I have ever struggled with, to be honest, but these days it seems just more difficult to me. I'm honestly not sure what this is, maybe I'm just tired. Anyway, let's wrap this video, this really weird video up with this random talk. I do hope you enjoyed this chill video of me chatting and this better painting. If you did, maybe give it a like, comment, share or even subscribe. It's really up to you. And I really hope to see you in my next video, which is going to be, I promise, more thought through. Until then, have a nice week. Bye!